everyone. Thank you for being with us tonight. I'm Christian Karam. This is the sixth annual Berkeley Middle Eastern Festival, and we're very happy to dedicate this edition to the music of Armenia. I feel very grateful for the support I've gotten and this festival has gotten over the years. It's the sixth year we're doing this, and we've traveled. Yeah. Thank you, Berkeley. And uh, we've traveled through different regions and different traditions um, across the years. And every year is a little bit different. Some of you have been here many times, and so you see it's a different the scope of colors and textures and sounds and flavors. And it's all connected, and yet everything is very particularly its own. And I find that so very beautiful. Uh, and this is what I aim to celebrate. Um, so this year, it's kind of a coming full circle for me, because the first edition was Lebanese in 2009. And we focused on Lebanese music. And I'm actually half Armenian, half Lebanese. And so I grew up with uh, very difficult stories on both ends. <laughs> so this has been, kind of has become my, my life's work of trying to understand if that, all that violence is necessary and if there isn't some other way we could manage. And so I find that art and music are a wonderful vehicle for attempting that. And so, um, it's very moving to me to uh, create a festival focused on Armenian music because of the story of my family. Uh, my, my grandparents were deported in 1915 and they uh, arrived in Aleppo and then to Beirut and then my mom was born in Beirut. So that's a lot of grief to carry from place to place. And it's unfortunately, most of you here, I assume have experienced it one way or another. Uh, it's a lot of unprocessed grief and it's a lot of it's a lot of it that's transmitted from generation to generation, and a lot of it is actually what perpetuates conflict. So it brings me a lot of joy to bring this story to you tonight and to have us all celebrate together wherever it is that we come from, because we all have our stories of violence and grief and things we're trying to overcome. And so the next set is very much about that. I was in New York in May to attend a Zulal concert. Zulal is the Armenian folk a cappella trio who were uh, as our guests last year as well. So I was in New York watching the show, and I realized that the show was not only a Zulal show, it, there was a much bigger picture to it. And it included visual art, and it included instruments, and it included a very moving storyline. I actually cried throughout the whole thing. And after, after the show, I went and I asked who the producer was, and they told me, oh, it's Sato. And I said, will you be my guest for the festival next year? So it was a very, very spontaneous, and uh, Sato Mughalian is a wonderful producer, a flautist, and um, she's the artistic director of a group called the Perspectives Ensemble, based in New York City, that she's been directing for 20 years. And she has a very moving and very brilliant vision for what you're about to witness right now. And so it's a story of the Armenian people um, related through music and art, and it's an, um, ultimately a story of triumph and resilience and celebration. So I would like to welcome Sato Mohalian on stage, and she can tell you a bit more about this. Thank you so much, Christian, for that beautiful introduction. And I must also thank Christian because I've seen over the last few days the absolutely magnificent efforts that she has put forth to make this incredible event happen. Let's thank you. So I just would like to say a word. Um, first of all, it's thrilling to be in this part of the country and to be surrounded by uh, so many people of different cultures, including Armenians. Thank you for being here. I have two very wonderful uh, friends in New York with whom I've collaborated over the last few years. One of them is the visual artist Kevork Murad, who's here with us tonight and who will be doing an amazing thing, which is music in art. He paints. Yes, yes. You will see him paint in collaboration, it's a conversation between the music and the art, and you will also see animations of his work. It's a completely original thing that he does, and he's as much a musician as he is an artist. The other person is the composer Eve Beglarian, a wonderful composer who lives in New York and is in China right now on one of her many voyages of music. 
the three of us had decided that we wanted to do something together. We had this hunger to, to tell a story. And at the same time, I had been researching the life of my grandfather, David Ohanesian, who was a ceramic artist from Kutahia, a master ceramist at the beginning of the 20th century. He learned a tradition that went back as far as the 14th century, and he spent his life perfecting this art form. He was deported from Kutahia, and he and my grandmother and the first three of their children survived a long trip in the desert, ended in Aleppo, and then replanted this art form in Jerusalem, where it still flourishes today. Many of you may have seen the Armenian ceramics of Jerusalem, and my grandfather was the one who brought that as a resident art form to Jerusalem. And I'm very proud of his story, but I also see that his story is the story of many people, not only Armenian, but in other parts of the world, the stories that go on today. But his story I find to be particularly beautiful because the art carried the family, and the art was part of the legacy that goes back centuries. And it's a beautiful feeling to be a musician, to be an artist, to be surrounded by these wonderful, amazing young people from all over the world. Thank you so much for being with us.
Tum 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 t